Finally, we're going to be done with Peter Grimm, but don't forget to vote for these four to see who we're going to look at with High School DxD going into the future. Let's jump right into it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We in. You might want to get up, bruh. Oh man. Follow my lead, Mimi. Roger that. Ah! Secret art. Double blue sky access. Bruh. Uh -huh. What the? It's too strong. They nuked it. Oh, nah. John, my good man, go and fetch me my sword. Uh, but, but, sir. You're going to need it. For what? You got to see him get active. Everyone, look up there. Peter. It's Peter. You bastard. You should be happy he's there. All right, but ain't that supposed to be a sword, not an axe? How can he explain this? The valley of my love. No, Sir Peter Grimm. In spite of the circumstances, your actions today were nothing short of beautiful and righteous. Thank you, sir. However, can you explain why our prized sword, the sword that has been passed down through generations, has mysteriously changed shape? Facts. I can't tell him that in order to fix it in time, it had to be turned into an axe. Improvise. With all due respect, before the ceremony began, I took a tour of this village, and I came to the obvious conclusion that we ought to reevaluate our current relationship. Smart man! Peter feels the same way I do. Therefore, in an effort to somehow rectify the clearly unequal terms of the Alliance, I deliberately, yes, deliberately, commissioned Lady Mislam, one of the Dwarves' most talented blacksmiths, to redesign the Sacred Sword. <laughs> Look, you saw the strength of its blade with your very own eyes. This entire town is home to many blacksmiths who are experts with Orichalcum. So... I say we put an end to this unfair agreement. The guild's forces should stand ready to defend the dwarves, and the dwarves should use their smithing skills to craft weapons for the guilds. I say we form an alliance that benefits all dwarves and guild alike. There we go, Peter. The strongest man in the whole dang world says so. Who am I to disagree? And is stuck into the, to that damn father. That'd be gotta be a prideful moment for him. Father, let's be productive here. <laughs> that went well. Facts. Now you gotta hold up your end, including your end to the bargain. My end? A life supply of your hero holidays. <laughs> At least you don't want your thing. Sir Peter! I want you to know that Miss Lim told me everything. Oh. Everything? What you mean by everything? What you mean by everything? Ufelia, my dear, you wish to ask a favor of me? Father, I was just... Guildmaster, Lady Luvelia? 
Preparations for our departure are complete. Mm. Luvelia, come with me. Let us talk on the journey home. Huh? No, mm. I won't be going back until you agree to hear me out. Look, I know we already discussed this, but Peter and myself, we'd like to go on vacation. I got the two of us tickets. <laughs> I've had enough of this nonsense, Luvelia! <gasps> Come along, sweetheart. It's time for us to go home. Now, Your daughter's grown, bruh. You gotta get let go of this weird so fetish. It's a little trick to help us be brave. Peter. Father, if that's how it is, I'm moving out. Let's go, girl! Why they got that one ray of light there? We'll have to change our daily slave chowder intake. You most likely won't. She don't really care about it. Pile of problems. And what's worse, I want you to know that Miss Lip told me everything. Oh, my boy, I'm honored that you would break up with Lady Lavelia in favor of providing a stable life for my daughter. Who? Break up with Lady Lavelia? Wait, so you think that I'm going to marry Miss Lip? What? Surely you wouldn't lay a finger on my daughter unless you were willing to make a serious commitment, right? <laughs> uh, no. Kill the old man. Of course not, sir. I have no doubt you'll prioritize my daughter's happiness to preserve the new relationship between the dwarves and the Alessa Guild. Take him out. Take him out. And say, say with the uh, cicada mode with taking control of him. Chicks catch up. Sure. Okay, then let's go on our long overdue trip. He's leaving us behind. Slippery crack here. Well, well, she's finally free. She learned to spread her wings and fly. Go, Peter. Go. Before they start having opinions back there. Nothing else matters. Lavelia is the only one I need. So long as you're by my side. Even when the going gets tough. <laughs> I know we'll pull through. Because together, we'll make our very own happily ever after. Keep running and never look back. I don't know if we're going to get a season three. Season two was up in the air, but I hope we get a season three. I love this little series. I'll see y'all in the next one. Don't forget to vote on these series right here. I'm out.